what's up? Today, guys, we will be doing a podcast. Are we going to talk about the weekend's football, Taylor? Yes. So, I play for the Mears Cougars at FC, and we have a game tomorrow against... I don't know, but it's at... Uh, it's at... Uh, the Debbie's Park in Denmead, uh, in Waterloo Hill. It's at King George's Park, near the sk- skateboard park in Denmead. It, it would, it, it, the first kickoff starts at 11 and it finishes at 11.50, 20, no, 11, 12, because we've got, fi- we've got 10 minutes to talk at half time. Uh, the coaches for Demi Cougars will be Graham. Uh, we don't know our positions yet, but I know I'll be playing somewhere up front. Uh, I'll take it over to um, you. Well, I'm really looking forward to watching that after the rugby. So, can you show them what you won last week at the rugby game? So, I play rugby on some days, and I won this trophy, Play of the Week, because I can't. Because I'm playing the game uh, this week, I can't. My dad has to take it to rugby, drop it off, do rugby. When it's finished at eleven, he comes down, kick off. For we played the time he gets in his car, probably. Kick off. You got to get there around about ten thirty for warm ups and tra- warm ups. Uh, we have trainings on Saturday, and yeah, this video will be about. The keys to winning a game. Yeah. So, Taylor, the keys to winning a game. What What do you think is needed in, in the keys to winning a game? Holding on, oh, holding, pressing for the defence, mainly defending, pressing, tackling. Uh, in the tackling, you'll have, uh, say if you've got the, your touching tie, you'll just stick a little leg out just to get the ball and then you can play it off the position. But say you have your ta- counter-attacking and you're on a goal, you don't want to just stick your leg out. You want to just take your time. And because if you've got the ball here, standing here, and you know there's a defender, you got the you got the wings on the f- right uh, channel and the left channel, but you could play it to the, the uh, cent- centre mid and they can pass it up. And when you're through, you can score a goal. Mm-hmm. That's, that's some that's very interesting stuff, Taylor. So, what, what, do what, what do you think is key to being a good footballer? Uh, key to being a good footballer, you need to um, communicate with your players. Good. Tell them to uh, space. And this is what we know. Jesus Christ, that's our formation. So you've got a goalkeeper holding mid. No, you've got a defender holding mid. Cent- central mid. Uh, striker. Then you've got the left mid and the right mid say if the right mid had the ball and he was say if the ball went over there and the right on the left side then the left the left the person on the left got the ball and they you wouldn't just go to chase off the ball you want to be in space so he could probably lob pass it cross the goal Pass it to a striker, strike, strike takes um, a goal, and then, yeah, you're 1-0 up, or whatever score it is. That's really good. What do you think the key things in football are? The key is teamwork. Yes. Passion. Yeah. Hard work. Yeah. But you want mostly to for your legs down to be fitter than your body up, but you still want this to be fitter. You, you still want this to be fit, but you want this lower heart fitter, just in case. Just in case, because well, you're playing football. So, yeah, so, but you, you get that. So, you, you got to have fun. So, no point doing it if you're not having fun. Did you have fun today? Yes. Okay. Teamwork. So, you've got to work with your team, you've got to communicate. So, no, just throwing your hands up in the middle of the pitch. Our viewers really want to see but the thing players. is about football there are fouls and ref there's no VIR in some leagues so <laughs> you're just... not having VIR in, in St George's playing field Taylor it's not going to happen 
So yeah, it's about having fun. So okay, well, let's get on to about today's football then. So today's what what do you think about the Chelsea West Ham game? So so far it's one one, pretty good. Um, uh, from uh, what's the goalkeeper's name? Fabianski. Yeah, Fabianski. He's got some really good save when he was going in off the post and in. He got the lich literal save. It's half time. Joe Felix. Scored in 16 minutes and... It's finished. It's, it's, it's finished. No, it's half time. It's full time. Oh, full time. Sorry. Full time, 1-1. One, one. Pretty good game. Very tough. But I expect Chelsea to win. Well, to be honest, they're 8 for 10th in the league. Right. And Liverpool Chelsea are, are doing really bad. I, I had high expectations so they'll be near the top. Arsenal's... Uh, has 51 points, Man City with 45, okay, well, and Man United well, Let's go down from today, let's go through. So, who's going to win against Arsenal versus Brentford? Who's going to win? Come on, Arsenal! So, you think Arsenal, I think you're right, Taylor. I think they're going to win. I think it's going to be 2-0 to the Arsenal. I'm going to say, this is my prediction, probably 4-1. Okay, that's a good one. Um, because Saka is going to score against Man United, that that literal goal was good. Uh, we have Crystal Palace v Brighton. I think Brighton's going to take the lead on this. 3-1. Well, it's quite a fierce game. So there's a bit of a local derby, Crystal Palace Brighton. So yeah. it always gets the old tempers flying. So that's a good one. What about Fulham, Nottingham Forest? Nottingham Forest, they have Kaylor, they have Kaylor Navas on the loan. So they're going to be up 2-0. Oh, interesting. Leicester Tottenham? Leicester... Leicester just 1-0. Leicester 1-0, is that because of the Sabres team? No. Yeah. <laughs> Fine, because... Okay. I'm, okay. Right, I'm going to say, this is actually... this is I want Leicester to win, but the score's actually going to be around about 4-5-0 to, to Tottenham. I feel bad. I hate Tottenham. And Southampton v Wolves. Wolves, I'm going to... Southampton got in the league. I don't think we've done really well, so I'm going to say Wolves 3-0. Oh, brave. What about tonight's evening game, Bournemouth versus Newcastle? Newcastle's got a really good position, starting off really well. And I think Newcastle's going to win. Hmm. OK, we'll go to tomorrow game. So we're going to go with Leeds versus United. It's the second time they played each other this week. So the first game ended 2 all. Leeds went 2-0 up. Uh, I think Leeds will just get on the lead with 1-0. Oh, Leeds are going to win 1-0. I like it. Man City versus Villa. Lost. Well, for some reason, I think it was a few year, seasons ago, Villa won 7-2 against, I can't remember, Man City or Liverpool. No, Liverpool. Uh, so, I have a feeling, let's go with, Man City 2-0. Okay, and then we'll, we'll go on to, this, we'll do two more. So, we've got Liverpool versus Everton, so another derby on, on Monday. Oh, I'm going... Most of my friends are Everton fans, but I have to go. Ev yeah, Everton, even though they're very low position, I think Everton's just got to get on the two nil. Do you think Sean Dice is going to do a good job there and get him, get keep Everton up? Yeah, I think Everton's oh, going to win two nil. So if Everton beat Liverpool, do you think Jurgen Klopp could be sacked? Yes. 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 Jurgen. Okay. Jürgen. Yeah, Jürgen mm, yeah, Klopp is doing really bad this season. Oh, okay. What about Arsenal Man City? Oh, that's a good one. I have a feeling it's going to be 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Brilliant. All right. Okay, Taylor. Well, I think that is enough for today. So we'll update We'll update maybe later on after the full-time whistle comes in and we'll talk about the scores there. Yes. Um, peace out and see you in the <laughs> next video.